In the verdant realm of Cuban mythology, where the spirits of nature danced and whispered secrets, there lived an Orisha named Osain. As the guardian of herbs, healing, and plants, Osain possessed an unparalleled knowledge of the botanical world and its medicinal properties. Osain's origins were shrouded in mystery, but legend whispered that he was born from the union of Obatala, the creator god, and Odujua, the goddess of the earth. From his birth, Osain inherited a deep connection to the natural world, and his wisdom in the ways of healing became renowned throughout the land. Osain's appearance was as enigmatic as his origins. He was often depicted as a wizened old man with a long, flowing beard and piercing eyes that seemed to see into the very essence of things. His skin was adorned with intricate tattoos, each symbol representing a different herb or plant. Osain's abode was a secluded forest, where he tended to his vast collection of medicinal herbs. The forest was a sanctuary, a place where the sick and injured could seek refuge and find solace. Osain's knowledge of plants was so profound that he could cure any ailment, from the common cold to the most deadly diseases. One day, a young woman named Oya fell gravely ill. Her body was racked with fever, and her spirit was fading. Desperate for help, her family carried her to Osain's forest. Osain examined Oya with a keen eye, and after consulting his vast knowledge of herbs, he prepared a potent potion. With gentle hands, Osain administered the potion to Oya. Within moments, her fever began to subside, and her spirit slowly returned. As the days passed, Oya's health steadily improved, and she eventually made a full recovery. Word of Osain's miraculous healing abilities spread throughout the land. People from far and wide flocked to his forest, seeking his wisdom and remedies. Osain never turned anyone away, and he always shared his knowledge freely. However, Osain's generosity came at a price. He demanded respect for the natural world and its inhabitants. Those who abused the plants or animals under his protection would face his wrath. One day, a group of hunters entered Osain's forest without permission. They slaughtered animals indiscriminately and left the forest in ruins. Osain was furious. He summoned his animal companions, and together they chased the hunters out of the forest. From that day forward, Osain's reputation as a protector of the natural world was firmly established. He became known as the guardian of the forest, and all who entered his domain knew to tread lightly. As the years passed, Osain's wisdom and healing abilities became legendary. He was revered by the people of Cuba, and his name was invoked in prayers and rituals. Osain's legacy lived on long after his physical departure from the mortal realm. In the hearts and minds of the Cuban people, Osain remained the Orisha of herbs, healing, and plants. His spirit continued to guide and protect those who sought his wisdom and respected the natural world. And so, in the verdant forests of Cuba, the legend of Osain, the wise and benevolent Orisha, was passed down from generation to generation, a testament to the enduring power of nature and the healing touch of the divine.